Hey everybody, I'm Catherine and I'm here with a different setup today because technically I'm supposed to be studying for my psychology exam. Obviously that's not happening right now. Yeah. But I'm in my study so I figured I needed a bit of a break or I'm just procrastinating, however you want to look at it, from actually, you know, studying for my exam. That's on Tuesday. And I decided, you know, I've, I've accumulated a couple books. I might as well do a book haul. A very, very tiny one. As a bonus, I think in total, I didn't pay anything for them. No, that's a lie. I paid under $2 for them. So, total bonus I needed to share. So the first book I actually have to share with you guys, I won on Twitter from Indigo Green Room. So thank you guys. I was not expecting to win anything. Um, and that book was Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. So I actually already own a copy of this. Like I said, I was not expecting to win at all because I rarely win anything. Um, so who knows, there might be a giveaway coming up in the near future for this, or I might just pass it along to a fellow blogger who doesn't have a copy. I haven't decided yet, but it's an extra copy, and I'm really, really excited to get around to reading it after exams. So the next three and final books I actually got at Shoppers Drug Mart, which if you are a fellow Canadian is it actually, and I'm not saying this just because I actually work for the company, but it is an awesome place to buy your books. Um, it has them marked down at 25% off and then since I work for the company I get an additional 30% off. But, but, they have their optimum point system, which is amazing. And since you shop there, usually for other stuff, the points can add up really quickly. And then I use them to buy books. So I don't actually have to spend money on books. So that's what I did. I did two separate transactions, one for $10 and one for $30 off, among other things that I was buying at the same time. So I paid under $2 for my books. It's pretty awesome. Got some free hair dye too, but yeah. So the first book is The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Nicholas Sparks books. I find them very predictable. I usually cry during them. I don't like a lot of them. But since they had it in the tiny little paperback with the movie cover, I figured, you know what? It was like $9 minus 30% off. So, yeah. It was free for me when I used my points. And I figured, you know what, if I don't like it, at least I haven't spent a lot of money on it. And I hate movie covers anyway, so it's not a big deal. If I end up do liking this, I will do like I've done for the other books of his that I have enjoyed and buying them in the nice hardback copy at, when they're like at chapters in the clearance bin. I am really excited to actually go see this movie too. That's really the main reason I wanted to pick up the book. Until his stuff gets put on film, I'm really just... Mm, mm. But I want to read the book before I go see the movie, and the movie did really intrigue me. So, hello book. You're gonna have to wait until after I'm done exams. Next up, I picked up a finished copy of Shadow Study by Maria V. Snyder. I have an e-arc of this on my Kindle. But I wanted a matching copy to go with the other books I have on my shelf of hers. And although there were there, there was a couple little wear and tear marks just because they don't always ship them carefully, uh, I couldn't pass up getting this because 25% off. Plus I get the extra discount on top of it and I use my points. So free. I'm not going to snark it free. So for those of you who don't know or might not know yet, um, this is a companion trilogy to the original Poison trilogy that Maria V. Snyder did years ago. And it carries on Yelena's story and I am so excited. And finally the last book that I picked up was a copy of Becoming Rain by K.A. Tucker. So this is a companion book to Burying Water which actually recently, like a couple months ago, came out. Like they're very new releases. 
Um, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about all of K.A. Tucker's books, and I have yet to get around to reading any of them. Even though I own a couple, I'm staring at them right now on the shelf. Stop licking me. Um, so I saw this and I could not pass it up. This was the book I literally paid like a dollar twenty for because I used points and with my discount it was awesome. But I actually have from the library on my iPad right now Burying Water by her and because of exams I never got around to reading it so I'll have to pick up a copy of that eventually too. I did also pick up a couple books from the library over the last few weeks, most of which are actually expiring really soon, so I either have to finish up and read them or just try and renew them later. One of them being Until the End by Abby Glines. Can you, can you see that? There we go. This is the last book in her Rosemary Beach series. No. This is the last book in her Seabury series. I always get those two mixed up. Um, so I'm, I'm like one chapter in and I've had it for three weeks. Reading just has not been happening lately. School has taken precedent. So that's expiring in three days. Probably unless, no, no, I really won't be able to read it between now and my exam. So that's when I'll have to definitely renew. There's also the copy of Burying Water by K.A. Tucker, which I think expires in like one day, so it's definitely not going to get read. Definitely another one I will have to renew. I also got a copy of The Wicked Will Rise from the library. I got like two pages in and then was like, I cannot justify reading right now because I have to study and I'm not even doing that enough, so no. One book that I have actually been reading over the last couple for the last like week or so um, that I got from the library in audiobook format because I knew I could not sit down and read the book was Deadline by Mira Grant. This is the second in her New Slush trilogy. Oh my god guys like oh my god I have subjected my mother to listening to this on multiple occasions while in the car and I don't think she really appreciates it but I also don't think she's big into zombies. But this book has been crazy, crazy amazing. Like, it's not as dry as the first book was, even though the first book was awesome too. But it was very, like, political-based, science-based. So I know they're not for everyone, but this one has been, like, conspiracy after conspiracy and, like, oh shit moments and just... I'm, I have less than 10% left. In my audiobook and I can justify an audiobook because I have to drive back and forth to work and I listen to audiobooks before bed and yeah so it's the only way I can read right now and it is awesome just awesome so that is it for me today I am going to quickly edit and then upload this because yeah procrastination at its finest people exam time. So, yep. And on top of all of this, I'm also gearing up for Book Expo America this year, next month. It's going to be awesome. So let me know down below if you're going because then we can meet maybe in the crowd. That would be awesome. I'm really bad at names and faces though. So just, just give me the points. <laughs> okay. So until next time, guys, happy reading. And wish me good luck on my exam because if I get a better mark than I have on any of my midterms on this final exam, that is my final mark because my professor is awesome and he believes in anomalies. So I am aiming to be one because I don't want to just grade average it. That would be sad. Happy reading, guys.